Welcome to Vorult Revolution. Here are 10 Power Lessons The Art of Strategy by Barry J. Nailbuff. The Art of Strategy, a Game Theorist's Guide to Success in Business and Life by Barry J. Nailbuff explores the principles of game theory and how they can be applied to decision-making in various aspects of life. The book provides valuable insights into strategic thinking and the importance of understanding interactions with others. A key quote from the book, to be successful, you must be able to think strategically and anticipate the actions of others. The authors delve into the principles of game theory, applying them to various real-life scenarios. The book serves as an insightful guide for understanding strategic interactions in competitive environments, emphasizing how individuals and organizations can make more informed decisions by anticipating the actions of others. Overview of Game Theory Game theory is a mathematical framework for analyzing situations where the outcome depends on the actions of multiple agents, each with their own interests. The authors explain that understanding these dynamics can help individuals and businesses navigate complex decision-making processes. They introduce key concepts such as dominant strategies, Nash equilibrium, and mixed strategies, providing a foundation for strategic thinking. Key Concepts Dominant strategy, a strategy that yields a better outcome for a player regardless of what the other players do. Nash equilibrium, a situation where no player can benefit from changing their strategy while the others keep theirs unchanged. Mixed strategies, randomizing choices to keep opponents guessing, which can enhance one's chances of success. The authors use various engaging examples to illustrate these concepts, making them accessible to readers. 1. The Prisoner's Dilemma This classic scenario involves two prisoners who must decide whether to confess or remain silent. If both stay silent, they receive a light sentence. If one confesses while the other remains silent, the confessor goes free while the other faces a harsh penalty. This dilemma highlights the conflict between individual rationality and collective benefit, demonstrating that cooperation can lead to better outcomes than self-serving actions. 2. Penalty Kicks in Soccer The book discusses how a soccer player can improve their chances of scoring by incorporating randomness into their penalty kicks. If a goalkeeper knows where the player will kick, the player's chances of scoring diminish, even if they are skilled at kicking in that direction. By occasionally kicking in different directions, i.e., mixing strategies, players can keep goalkeepers uncertain and increase their likelihood of success. 3. The ultimate game. In this scenario, one player proposes how to split a sum of money, and the second player can either accept or reject it. If rejected, neither player receives anything. This example demonstrates how fairness perceptions can influence decisions, as players may reject offers they perceive as unfair, even at their own expense. 4. Market Competition The authors draw parallels between game theory and business strategy by discussing pricing decisions among competing retailers. If one retailer sets high prices while another lowers theirs, the latter may attract more customers, illustrating how strategic interactions can significantly impact market outcomes. The art of strategy effectively combines theoretical insights with practical applications, making game theory relevant to everyday decision-making in business and life. Through compelling examples and clear explanations, Dixit and Nailbuff empower readers to think strategically about their choices and anticipate the actions of others in competitive scenarios. This narrative not only enhances understanding but also equips individuals with tools to navigate complex interactions successfully. Here are 10 key lessons from the book. 1. Understand the basics of game theory. Familiarize yourself with fundamental concepts of game theory, such as players, strategies, payoffs, and equilibrium. This foundational knowledge will enhance your decision-making. The authors argue that understanding the fundamentals of game theory can significantly enhance strategic thinking, allowing individuals to anticipate the actions of others and make informed choices. Understanding the Basics of Game Theory At its core, game theory studies how individuals or entities make decisions when their outcomes depend on the choices of others. The authors explain that this framework is not limited to competitive scenarios, it also encompasses cooperative interactions where players can benefit from collaboration. Key concepts introduced include Players, the decision-makers in a game Strategies, 
the plans or actions chosen by players. Payoffs, the outcomes resulting from the combination of strategies employed by players. Fundamental concepts. 1. Simultaneous versus sequential games. Simultaneous games occur when players make decisions at the same time without knowledge of others' choices, such as in the classic prisoner's dilemma. Sequential games involve players making decisions one after another, allowing later players to react to earlier moves, exemplified by scenarios like chess. 2. Nash Equilibrium, a situation where no player can benefit from changing their strategy while others keep theirs unchanged. This concept illustrates a stable state and strategic interactions. 3. Dominant strategy, a strategy that is optimal for a player regardless of what others do, leading to predictable outcomes if all players adopt their dominant strategies. The authors use engaging examples to elucidate these concepts. 1. The Prisoner's Dilemma This well-known scenario illustrates the conflict between individual rationality and collective benefit. Two prisoners must decide whether to confess or remain silent. If both stay silent, they receive minimal sentences. If one confesses while the other does not, the confessor goes free while the other faces severe penalties. This dilemma highlights how rational individuals may fail to cooperate, leading to worse outcomes for both. 2. The ultimate game. In this scenario, one player proposes how to split a sum of money, e.g., $100 and the second player can either accept or reject this offer. If rejected, neither player receives anything. This example demonstrates how perceptions of fairness can influence decision-making, as players often reject offers they deem unfair, even if it means leaving empty-handed. 3. Penalty Kicks in Soccer The authors discuss how a soccer player can enhance their chances of scoring by incorporating randomness into their penalty kicks. If a goalkeeper knows where a player will kick, they can position themselves accordingly. By occasionally kicking in different directions, a mixed strategy, players can keep goalkeepers guessing and increase their likelihood of scoring. 4. Market Competition The book also addresses strategic interactions in business settings, such as pricing decisions among competing retailers. If one retailer sets high prices while another lowers theirs, the latter may attract more customers demonstrating how strategic thinking can shape market dynamics. Understanding the basics of game theory serves as a foundation for strategic decision-making in various contexts. Through relatable examples and clear explanations, Nailbuff and Dixit illuminate how individuals can leverage game theory principles to navigate competitive landscapes effectively. By anticipating others' actions and considering potential outcomes, readers are empowered to make more informed choices that enhance their chances of success in both personal and professional arenas. 2. Think ahead. Anticipating the actions of others is crucial in strategic situations. Consider how your choices will affect not only your outcomes but also those of others involved. This concept revolves around the idea that anticipating the actions and reactions of others can significantly influence outcomes in competitive scenarios. By understanding the dynamics of interactions, individuals can better position themselves to achieve their objectives. The importance of thinking ahead. Thinking ahead involves not only predicting what others might do but also planning responses based on those predictions. The authors argue that effective strategists must consider multiple steps into the future, akin to a chess player who anticipates several moves ahead. This forward-thinking approach allows for the development of strategies that can adapt to changing circumstances and counteract opponents' moves. Key Principles 1. Anticipation of Reactions Understanding how others are likely to respond to your actions is fundamental. This requires a deep analysis of motivations preferences, and possible strategies employed by competitors. 2. Creating contingency plans. Effective strategists prepare for various scenarios, ensuring they have backup plans in place. This readiness allows them to pivot quickly in response to unexpected developments. 3. Incorporating randomness. Sometimes, introducing an element of unpredictability can be advantageous. By mixing strategies or decisions, one can keep opponents off balance, making it harder for them to anticipate future actions. The authors illustrate these principles with several compelling examples. 1. 
The game of soccer, one notable example is the penalty kick scenario in soccer. A player who consistently kicks to one side may find that goalkeepers begin to predict their move. To enhance their chances of scoring, the player should incorporate randomness into their kicks, occasionally kicking in the opposite direction or varying their approach. This unpredictability forces the goalkeeper to hesitate, thereby increasing the player's chances of success. 2. Survivor Strategy Nail Buff and Dixit reference a contestant from the reality show Survivor who employed a strategy of winning by losing. By intentionally losing a challenge, this contestant set off a chain reaction that eliminated stronger competitors from the game. This example highlights how thinking several moves ahead, considering not just immediate outcomes but also subsequent reactions, can lead to ultimate victory. 3. Market competition. In business contexts, anticipating competitors' moves is critical for success. For instance, if a company knows a rival will lower prices, it might choose to preemptively enhance its product offerings or adjust its marketing strategy to maintain customer loyalty, rather than simply reacting after the fact. 4. Negotiation tactics. The authors also discuss negotiation scenarios where thinking ahead can create leverage. By understanding what concessions an opponent values most, one can craft proposals that seem appealing while strategically retaining more valuable assets for oneself. Thinking ahead is a central theme in the art of strategy, underscoring the necessity for strategic foresight in various interactions, be it in sports, business, or everyday life. Through engaging examples and practical insights, Nailbuff and Dixit illustrate how anticipating opponents' actions and preparing for multiple outcomes can significantly enhance one's strategic position. By mastering this mindset, individuals can navigate complex situations more effectively and increase their likelihood of achieving desired results. 3. Recognize competitive and cooperative scenarios. Different situations require different strategies. Knowing when to compete and when to cooperate can lead to better outcomes in negotiations and relationships. Understanding this distinction is essential for navigating strategic interactions, whether in business, negotiations, or everyday life. The authors emphasize that recognizing the nature of the game being played can significantly influence decision-making and outcomes. Recognizing Competitive and Cooperative Scenarios Competitive Scenarios in competitive scenarios, players act independently, often with conflicting interests. Each participant aims to maximize their own payoff, frequently at the expense of others. The authors illustrate this concept through various examples. 1. The Prisoner's Dilemma This classic example serves as a foundational illustration of competitive behavior. Two prisoners are faced with the choice to either betray each other or remain silent. If both choose to betray, they receive moderate sentences, if one betrays while the other remains silent, the betrayer goes free while the silent prisoner faces a harsh penalty. This scenario highlights how individual rationality can lead to suboptimal outcomes for both players when cooperation would yield better results. 2. Market Competition In business contexts, companies often find themselves in competitive scenarios where they must set prices or develop products in response to rivals' actions. For instance, if one company lowers its prices to attract customers, competitors may feel pressured to follow suit, leading to a price war that ultimately reduces profits for all involved. Cooperative Scenarios Conversely, cooperative scenarios involve players who can work together toward a common goal, sharing the benefits of their collaboration. The authors emphasize that cooperation can lead to mutually beneficial outcomes that might not be achievable through competition alone. 1. Strategic Alliances Nailbuff and Dixit discuss how companies often enter strategic alliances to achieve shared objectives, such as joint research and development projects. For example, two tech firms may collaborate on developing a new product, pooling their resources and expertise to innovate more effectively than they could independently. If both companies commit to cooperating, they can maximize their joint payoffs. 2. Negotiation Dynamics In negotiations, recognizing when cooperation is possible can lead to better outcomes for all parties involved. The authors illustrate this with examples where negotiators identify shared interests and work towards solutions that benefit everyone rather than adopting an adversarial stance. 
Nail Buff and Dixit provide several engaging examples to illustrate these concepts. The Ultimatum Game In this scenario, one player proposes how to split a sum of money, while the other player can accept or reject the offer. If rejected, neither player receives anything. This game demonstrates how fairness perceptions can influence decisions. Players often reject offers they perceive as unfair even at a cost to themselves, highlighting the tension between competitive instincts and cooperative opportunities. Business Pricing Strategies The authors analyze how companies must navigate competitive pricing strategies while also considering potential cooperative agreements with suppliers or partners. For instance, a retailer might choose to maintain higher prices if they believe competitors will cooperate by not undercutting them, thereby preserving overall market health. Recognizing competitive and cooperative scenarios is vital for effective strategic thinking as outlined in The Art of Strategy. By understanding the dynamics of each situation, whether it calls for competition or collaboration, individuals and organizations can make informed decisions that enhance their chances of achieving favorable outcomes. Nail Buff and Dixit's insights empower readers to navigate complex interactions more adeptly, leveraging both competitive instincts and cooperative opportunities as appropriate. 4. Embrace the power of commitment. Making credible commitments can strengthen your position and influence the decisions of others. Be strategic about what you commit to and how it impacts your leverage. They argue that making binding commitments can significantly influence outcomes in competitive scenarios, allowing players to shape the actions of others and create favorable conditions for themselves. Understanding how to leverage commitment is essential for effective decision-making in various contexts, from business negotiations to personal relationships. Embracing the power of commitment. The nature of commitment. Commitment in game theory refers to an unconditional strategic move that restricts one's future actions. By committing to a particular course of action, individuals signal their intentions clearly to others, which can alter the dynamics of the interaction. This strategic move can serve as a deterrent against competitors or as a means to foster cooperation. Key Principles 1. Irrevocability A commitment must be credible and difficult to reverse. This creates a situation where other players must consider the committed player's actions seriously when making their own decisions. 2. Deterrence and Compellence Commitments can serve two primary functions. Deterrence preventing others from taking actions that would be detrimental to oneself. Compellence, encouraging others to act in a desired manner. 3. Clarity and certainty, for commitments to be effective, they must be communicated clearly so that other players understand the consequences of their actions in response. Nail Buff and Dixit provide several illustrative examples that highlight the power of commitment. 1. The ultimatum game. In this scenario, one player proposes how to split a sum of money, while the other player can either accept or reject the offer. If rejected, neither player receives anything. The proposer's commitment to a specific offer can influence the responder's decision. If they believe the offer is fair, they are more likely to accept it, thus demonstrating how commitments can shape negotiation outcomes. 2. War of Attrition This concept illustrates how commitment can determine who prevails in a contest where players must decide how long they are willing to endure before conceding. By committing to stay in the game longer than their opponent, one player can effectively force the other to give up first, showcasing how strategic commitment can lead to victory. 3. First Mover Advantage The authors discuss scenarios where being the first to commit can create significant advantages. For instance, in an auction setting, a bidder who places an early high bid may deter others from participating further, effectively securing the item at a lower overall cost than if they had waited. 4. Strategic Moves in Business Companies often make commitments through public announcements or strategic partnerships that signal their intentions to competitors and consumers alike. For example, a tech company might announce a long-term investment in renewable energy technologies committing itself publicly and thereby influencing competitors' strategies and consumer perceptions. 5. Commitment Devices The authors also highlight personal commitment devices, such as setting an alarm clock across the room, to illustrate how individuals can restrict their future choices for better outcomes. This simple act demonstrates how self-imposed commitments can lead to improved behavior, such as waking up on time. 
embrace the power of commitment is a central theme in the art of strategy, emphasizing that strategic commitments can significantly alter competitive dynamics and enhance decision-making effectiveness. Through relatable examples and clear explanations, Nailbuff and Dixit empower readers to recognize the value of making credible commitments in various contexts, be it in negotiations, competitive business environments, or personal challenges. By understanding and leveraging commitment strategically, individuals can navigate complex interactions more successfully and achieve their desired outcomes. 5. Leverage Information Asymmetry Understanding that different parties may have different information can provide you with an advantage. Use this to your benefit by crafting strategies that exploit these discrepancies. The concept of information asymmetry, a situation where one party has more or better information than another. This imbalance can create significant strategic advantages and influence the outcomes of competitive interactions. The authors emphasize that understanding and leveraging information asymmetry can be a powerful tool in various contexts, from business negotiations to everyday decision-making. Understanding Information Asymmetry Information asymmetry occurs when one party possesses knowledge that the other lacks, leading to an imbalance in power during transactions or interactions. This can manifest in several ways, such as Adverse selection, situations where one party takes advantage of their superior information to make decisions that negatively impact the less informed party. Moral hazard, occurs when one party can take risks because they do not bear the full consequences of those risks, often due to asymmetric information. Key Principles 1. Strategic Signaling Individuals or organizations can send signals to convey information that may influence others' perceptions and decisions. This can involve revealing certain information while concealing others to maintain an advantage. 2. Screening mechanisms The less informed party may implement strategies to gather more information about the better informed party, thereby leveling the playing field. 3. Commitment to transparency Sometimes, voluntarily sharing information can build trust and foster cooperation, especially in environments where repeated interactions occur. Here are examples that illustrate how leveraging information asymmetry can lead to strategic advantages. 1. The Market for Lemons One of the most famous examples discussed is George Akerlof's Market for Lemons, which describes how sellers of used cars often have more information about the vehicle's condition than buyers. This asymmetry leads to adverse selection, where buyers are unwilling to pay a fair price for quality cars due to the risk of purchasing a lemon. Sellers with high-quality cars may exit the market, leaving only low-quality options available. The authors use this example to highlight how understanding and addressing information asymmetries is crucial for market efficiency. 2. Bargaining Scenarios In negotiations, parties often possess different levels of information regarding their alternatives, BATNAS. A negotiator who knows they have a strong alternative can leverage this information asymmetry by making more aggressive offers while the other party may feel compelled to accept less favorable terms due to their lack of knowledge about alternatives. 3. Job Market Dynamics The book discusses how job applicants might possess varying levels of information about their qualifications compared to employers. Candidates with superior knowledge about their skills can negotiate better salaries or positions by effectively showcasing their value while downplaying potential weaknesses. 4. Auction Strategies in auction scenarios, bidders may have different levels of insight into the value of the item being sold. A knowledgeable bidder might leverage this asymmetry by bidding strategically based on their understanding of the item's worth compared to other bidders who may lack such insights. 5. Corporate Transparency Companies often face decisions about how much information to disclose to investors and stakeholders. By selectively sharing positive news while withholding negative aspects, firms can manipulate perceptions and maintain a favorable market position until they are ready to reveal more comprehensive data. Leverage information asymmetry is a critical theme in the art of strategy, emphasizing that understanding and exploiting informational imbalances can significantly enhance strategic decision-making. Through compelling examples and clear explanations, Nailbuff and Dixit empower readers to recognize opportunities created by information asymmetry in various contexts, be it in negotiations, market dynamics, or personal interactions. 
By mastering this concept, individuals can navigate complex situations more effectively and achieve better outcomes in competitive environments. 6. Consider the role of incentives. People are motivated by various incentives. Aligning your actions with the interests of others can lead to more productive interactions and successful collaborations. The critical concept of incentives and their profound impact on decision-making and strategic interactions. The authors argue that understanding incentives, both intrinsic and extrinsic, is essential for predicting behavior and crafting effective strategies in various contexts, including business, negotiations, and personal relationships. The Nature of Incentives Incentives are rewards or penalties that motivate individuals to act in certain ways. They can be financial, such as bonuses or commissions, or non-financial, like recognition or job satisfaction. The authors emphasize that incentives shape behavior by aligning individual goals with organizational objectives, thereby influencing how players interact in competitive environments. Key Principles 1. Alignment of Interests Effective incentives align the interests of individuals with those of the organization or group. When people see a direct benefit from their actions, they are more likely to engage positively. 2. Behavioral motivation. Incentives can drive behavior by encouraging specific actions while discouraging others. Understanding what motivates individuals is crucial for designing effective incentive structures. 3. Risk and reward. The relationship between risk and reward is a fundamental aspect of incentives. Higher risks may warrant higher rewards to motivate individuals to take action. The role of incentives through several compelling examples. 1. Sales commissions. One clear example discussed is the use of sales commissions in business. When salespeople are offered a commission based on their sales volume, they are incentivized to sell more products. This financial incentive aligns their interests with those of the company, motivating them to work harder and achieve higher sales figures. 2. The ultimatum game. In this game, one player proposes how to split a sum of money while the other can accept or reject the offer. If rejected, neither player receives anything. This scenario highlights how perceived fairness influences decisions. If the proposer offers a fair split, e.g., 50-50, they are more likely to have their offer accepted. Here, the incentive structure is crucial. If the proposer understands that a low offer will likely be rejected, they will adjust their proposal accordingly. 3. Performance-based bonuses. The authors discuss how organizations often implement performance-based bonuses to drive employee productivity. For instance, a company might set targets for project completion or sales figures. Employees who meet or exceed these targets receive bonuses. This creates a clear incentive for employees to work efficiently and strive for excellence. 4. Intrinsic versus Extrinsic Motivation Nail Buff and Dixit also address the balance between intrinsic and extrinsic motivations. They note that while financial incentives can be powerful, they may not always lead to optimal outcomes in creative fields or nonprofit organizations where intrinsic motivation, such as personal fulfillment or passion for the work, plays a significant role. For example, artists may be more motivated by creative expression than monetary compensation. 5. Game Theory and Auctions The authors analyze auction scenarios where bidders must consider the incentives associated with their bids. In a descending price auction, where the price drops until someone accepts it, bidders must weigh their willingness to risk losing the item against potential savings from waiting for a lower price. The structure of incentives influences how aggressively bidders participate in the auction. Consider the role of incentives is a pivotal theme in the art of strategy emphasizing that understanding and effectively utilizing incentives can significantly enhance strategic decision-making across various contexts. Through engaging examples and practical insights, Nailbuff and Dixit empower readers to recognize how incentives shape behavior in competitive interactions, whether in business negotiations, team dynamics, or personal relationships. By aligning interests and motivating desired actions through well-designed incentive structures, individuals and organizations can achieve better outcomes and foster more productive environments. 7. Utilize mixed strategies. In uncertain situations, employing a mixed strategy, randomizing your choices, can make it difficult for others to predict your actions, 
enhancing your strategic position. Nailbuff and Dixit introduced the concept of mixed strategies as a vital tool in game theory. Mixed strategies involve players randomizing their choices among available options instead of sticking to a single, predictable strategy. This approach introduces uncertainty into the game, making it more challenging for opponents to anticipate actions and exploit weaknesses. The Nature of Mixed Strategies Mixed strategies are particularly useful in competitive situations where predictability can lead to unfavorable outcomes. By employing a mixed strategy, players can assign probabilities to their various possible actions, thereby keeping their opponents guessing about their next move. This randomness can prevent adversaries from developing effective counter-strategies. Key Principles 1. Randomization Players choose their actions based on assigned probabilities rather than deterministic choices. This unpredictability can disrupt opponents' expectations and strategies. 2. Nash Equilibrium In some games, a mixed strategy can lead to a Nash Equilibrium, where no player can benefit from changing their strategy unilaterally. This equilibrium occurs when players randomize their strategies in such a way that each player's choice is optimal given the choices of others. 3. Exploiting predictability Opponents who rely on predictable patterns can be outsmarted through mixed strategies. By introducing variability in their actions, players can minimize the risk of being exploited. Nailbuff and Dixit illustrate the concept of mixed strategies through several engaging examples. 1. Rock Paper Scissors This classic game serves as an excellent example of mixed strategies in action. If both players randomize their choices, selecting rock, paper, or scissors with equal probability, they ensure that neither player has a predictable advantage. If one player consistently chooses rock, the other can easily exploit this by always choosing paper. However, by mixing their choices, players maintain an equal chance of winning regardless of their opponent's strategy. 2. Penalty Kicks in Soccer The authors discuss how soccer players can enhance their chances of scoring during penalty kicks by employing mixed strategies. A player who consistently kicks to one side becomes predictable, allowing goalkeepers to anticipate and block the shot effectively. By randomizing their kicks, sometimes going left, sometimes right, the player keeps the goalkeeper guessing, increasing the likelihood of scoring. 3. The Matching Pennies Game In this simple game, two players simultaneously choose heads or tails. One player wins if both choices match, while the other wins if they differ. A player utilizing a mixed strategy might flip a coin to decide between heads or tails with equal probability. This randomness makes it difficult for the opponent to predict the player's choice and counters any potential advantage they might have from knowing previous patterns. 4. Business Negotiations Nail Buff and Dixit also apply mixed strategies to business contexts, such as negotiations. A negotiator who varies their offers or tactics can prevent counterparts from forming expectations based on past behavior. By introducing unpredictability into negotiations, perhaps by alternating between aggressive and conciliatory approaches, they can keep the other party off balance and more likely to concede favorable terms. 5. Bidding Strategies and Auctions In auction scenarios, bidders may use mixed strategies to avoid being predictable about their bids. For example, a bidder may decide to bid high on some items while holding back on others based on randomized criteria, which complicates competitors' ability to gauge how aggressively they should bid. Utilize mixed strategies is a crucial theme in the art of strategy, highlighting how randomness and unpredictability can significantly enhance strategic decision-making across various contexts, be it games, sports, business negotiations, or auctions. Through relatable examples and insightful explanations, Nailbuff and Dixit empower readers to recognize the value of incorporating mixed strategies into their own decision-making processes. By understanding how to effectively employ randomness in competitive interactions, individuals can navigate complex scenarios more successfully and improve their chances of achieving favorable outcomes. 8. Be aware of the Nash Equilibrium The Nash Equilibrium represents a situation where no player can benefit by changing their strategy while others keep theirs unchanged. Understanding this concept can help you identify stable outcomes. 
the authors emphasize the significance of Nash equilibrium as a fundamental concept in game theory. Understanding this equilibrium is crucial for making strategic decisions in competitive environments, as it represents a state where no player can benefit from unilaterally changing their strategy, given the strategies chosen by others. The Concept of Nash Equilibrium The Nash Equilibrium, named after mathematician John Nash, occurs in a game when each player's strategy is optimal given the strategies chosen by all other players. In simpler terms, it is a situation where every participant's decision is the best response to the decisions of others. When players reach this equilibrium, no one has an incentive to deviate from their current strategy because doing so would not yield a better outcome. Key Principles 1. Best Response Each player's strategy is the best response to the strategies of others. This interdependence means that players must consider not only their own choices but also those of their opponents. 2. Stability Once a Nash equilibrium is reached, it tends to be stable. Players have no incentive to change their strategies as long as others maintain theirs. 3. Multiple equilibria Some games may have multiple Nash equilibria, leading to different possible outcomes depending on the initial conditions and choices made by players. Nail Buff and Dixit illustrate the concept of Nash equilibrium through several engaging examples. 1. The Prisoner's Dilemma This classic scenario exemplifies the Nash equilibrium concept vividly. Two criminals are arrested and must decide whether to betray each other or remain silent. If both remain silent, they receive light sentences. If one betrays while the other stays silent, the betrayer goes free while the other faces a harsh penalty. If both betray each other, they receive moderate sentences. The Nash equilibrium occurs when both prisoners choose to betray one another, despite the fact that mutual silence would lead to a better collective outcome. Here, neither prisoner can improve their situation by changing their choice unilaterally. 2. Advertising Competition Nail Buff and Dixit present a scenario involving two competing companies deciding whether to launch an advertising campaign. If both companies advertise, they each attract a moderate number of customers. If only one advertises, that company attracts more customers while the other gains none. If neither advertises, they both miss out on potential customers. The Nash equilibrium is reached when both companies choose to advertise, as neither can improve their position by choosing not to advertise while anticipating the other's actions. 3. John and Sam's Course Selection In another example, Two students, John and Sam, must register for classes without knowing each other's choices. They can either choose finance or psychology. If they register for the same class, they can study together. If they choose differently, they miss out on this benefit. The Nash equilibria in this scenario occur when both choose finance or both choose psychology. Each student's choice is optimal given the other's decision. 4. Bidding in Auctions the authors also explore how bidders in an auction must consider their competitors' strategies when placing bids. If all bidders adopt a strategy that maximizes their chances based on others' bids, they reach a Nash equilibrium where no bidder can improve their expected payoff by changing their bid unilaterally. 5. Mixed Strategies In games where players randomize their choices, such as rock-paper-scissors, mixed strategies can also lead to Nash equilibria. For instance, if two players randomize their choices equally among options, neither player can gain an advantage by changing their strategy alone, this randomness creates a stable equilibrium. Be aware of the Nash equilibrium is a pivotal theme in the art of strategy, underscoring its importance in strategic decision-making across various contexts, from business competition to personal interactions. Through relatable examples and clear explanations, Nail Buff and Dixit empower readers to understand how recognizing and applying the concept of Nash equilibrium can lead to more informed choices and better outcomes in competitive scenarios. By grasping this fundamental principle of game theory, individuals can navigate complex interactions with greater confidence and effectiveness. 9. Learn from real-world examples The book uses various real-life examples and case studies to illustrate strategic concepts. Analyzing these examples can provide valuable insights into applying game theory effectively. The authors emphasize the importance of learning from real-world examples to apply the principles of game theory effectively. 
By examining diverse scenarios across various fields, they illustrate how strategic thinking can lead to better decision-making and outcomes. This narrative approach not only makes complex concepts more relatable but also highlights the practical applications of game theory in everyday life. The value of practical illustrations Real-world examples serve as powerful tools for understanding theoretical concepts. Nail Buff and Dixit argue that by analyzing actual situations, individuals can grasp the nuances of strategic interactions and apply these lessons to their own decisions. The authors draw on a variety of contexts, including business, politics, sports, and social dynamics, to demonstrate how game theory principles manifest in real-life scenarios. Key Principles 1. Anticipation of Reactions Understanding how others will respond to your actions is crucial for strategic success. Real-world examples often highlight the importance of anticipating competitors' moves. 2. Learning from outcomes Analyzing past decisions and their outcomes can provide valuable insights into effective strategies and common pitfalls. 3. Adaptability Real-world scenarios often require flexibility and adaptability in strategy as conditions can change rapidly based on competitors' actions or external factors. Nail Buff and Dixit provide several compelling examples that illustrate the application of game theory in real-world contexts. 1. Survivor Contestant Strategy One notable example involves a contestant from the reality show Survivor who employed a strategy of winning by losing. This contestant intentionally lost challenges to eliminate stronger competitors from the game. By sacrificing immediate advantages, they set off a chain reaction that ultimately led to their victory. This example underscores the importance of thinking strategically about long-term outcomes rather than just immediate gains. 2. The Ultimatum Game The authors discuss the Ultimatum Game as a classic psychological experiment where one player proposes how to split a sum of money while the other can accept or reject the offer. This scenario illustrates how perceptions of fairness influence decisions. If the proposer offers an unfair split, the responder may reject it out of principle, even at a cost to themselves. This example demonstrates how understanding human psychology can inform strategic choices and negotiations. 3. Market Competition Nail Buff and Dixit analyze competitive dynamics in business settings, such as pricing strategies among retailers. They explain how companies must anticipate each other's pricing decisions to maintain market share and profitability. For instance, if one retailer lowers prices, competitors may feel pressured to follow suit, leading to a price war that ultimately harms all players involved. This analysis highlights the significance of strategic foresight and business decisions. 4. Bidding Strategies in Auctions the authors explore auction dynamics as another real-world application of game theory. They illustrate how bidders must consider not only their valuations but also their competitors' potential bids when formulating their strategies. By analyzing past auction outcomes and competitor behavior, bidders can refine their approaches to maximize their chances of winning valuable items at favorable prices. 5. Political Campaigns In the Realm of Politics Nail Buff and Dixit examine how candidates must strategize based on opponents' actions and voter preferences. They highlight instances where candidates have successfully anticipated rivals' moves or shifted their platforms based on public sentiment, demonstrating the critical role of strategic thinking in electoral success. Learn from real-world examples is a central theme in the art of strategy emphasizing that practical illustrations enrich understanding and application of game theory principles. Through engaging narratives and relatable scenarios, Nail Buff and Dixit empower readers to recognize the relevance of strategic thinking in various aspects of life, from business negotiations to competitive games and social interactions. By learning from these real-world examples, individuals can enhance their decision-making skills and navigate complex situations more effectively, ultimately leading to better outcomes in both personal and professional contexts. 10. Adapt Your Strategy Flexibility is essential in strategy. Be prepared to adapt your approach based on changing circumstances, the actions of others, and new information that emerges. The authors emphasize the importance of adapting your strategy in response to changing circumstances and the actions of others. 
this adaptability is crucial in competitive environments where opponents are also strategizing and adjusting their moves. By learning to recognize when to pivot or alter one's approach, individuals can enhance their chances of success in various scenarios, whether in business, negotiations, or personal interactions. The need for flexibility. Adapting a strategy involves being responsive to new information, unexpected developments, and the behavior of competitors. Nail Buff and Dixit argue that a rigid approach can lead to missed opportunities or unfavorable outcomes. Instead, successful strategists must be willing to reassess their plans based on real time feedback from the environment and the actions of others. Key principles 1. Continuous assessment regularly evaluate the effectiveness of your current strategy and be prepared to make adjustments as needed. This requires vigilance and an openness to change. 2. Anticipate opponents' moves. Understanding that competitors will also adapt their strategies is essential. Anticipating their responses can inform your own strategic adjustments. 3. Experimentation. Sometimes, trying out different approaches can yield insights that lead to more effective strategies. Being willing to experiment allows for innovation and improvement. Nail Buff and Dixit provide several illustrative examples that highlight the importance of adapting strategies. 1. The Survivor Contestant One compelling example comes from the reality show Survivor. A contestant strategically chose to win by losing, intentionally sacrificing challenges to eliminate stronger competitors. This unexpected move set off a chain reaction that ultimately led to their victory. By adapting their strategy based on the dynamics of the game and the behavior of other contestants, they were able to turn a seemingly disadvantageous position into a winning one. 2. Market Competition The authors analyze how businesses must remain flexible in competitive markets. For instance, if one company launches a successful marketing campaign, competitors may need to adapt by enhancing their own marketing efforts or adjusting pricing strategies to maintain market share. Companies that fail to adapt risk losing customers and market relevance. 3. Bidding strategies and auctions. In auction scenarios, bidders often need to adjust their strategies based on the behavior of other participants. For example, if a competitor consistently bids high early on, other bidders might decide to hold back initially or employ a mixed bidding strategy to avoid driving up prices unnecessarily. Adapting one's bidding approach based on observed behaviors can lead to more favorable outcomes. 4. Negotiation Dynamics In negotiations, flexibility is key. A negotiator who remains rigid may miss opportunities for compromise or creative solutions that could benefit both parties. By being willing to adapt their proposals based on the other party's reactions and needs, negotiators can foster collaboration and achieve better agreements. 5. Sports Strategies Nail Buff and Dixit also draw parallels with sports, where teams must adapt their game plans based on opponents' strategies and in-game developments. For example, a football team might start with an aggressive offense but switch to a defensive strategy if they find themselves leading late in the game. This adaptability can be crucial for securing victory. Adapt Your Strategy is a vital theme in the art of strategy emphasizing that flexibility and responsiveness are essential components of effective decision-making in competitive environments. Through engaging examples and practical insights, Nailbuff and Dixit empower readers to recognize the importance of adapting their strategies based on real-time feedback from their surroundings and competitors' actions. By cultivating this adaptability, individuals can navigate complex situations more successfully and increase their chances of achieving favorable outcomes in both personal and professional contexts. The art of strategy emphasizes the importance of strategic thinking in achieving success in both business and personal life. By applying these lessons, individuals can enhance their decision-making skills and navigate complex interactions more effectively. Thank you for listening. I hope this content is useful to you. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to support our team.